Police, 11 hurt, 2 in critical condition after shooting in Lakeland. Lakeland, Florida, the Lakeland Police Department said a shooting left several people injured on Monday. The shooting occurred in the area of Iowa Avenue North and Plum Street Monday afternoon around 3.43 p.m. Police initially said nine people were hurt but later learned that two additional people had injuries. Two people had critical injuries, and nine people had non-life-threatening injuries. Police said the two victims with critical injuries are getting surgery. One is in surgery, and the other is either in surgery or headed to surgery, Lakeland Police Chief Sam Taylor said. Four suspects in a dark blue four-door Nissan with tinted windows and a temporary license plate are believed to have been involved in the shooting. The vehicle slowed. It did not stop, and the four windows went down. It appears it was occupied by four shooters in the vehicle, and they started firing from all four windows of the vehicle and shooting males on both sides of the street, Taylor said. We have reason to believe that this was a targeted event, that it was not a random act. Taylor announced Tuesday morning that the vehicle had been located in West Lakeland, but no suspects were in custody. He said they have several very promising leads. Latest news conference below. Investigators believe the shooting was not random but targeted and likely over drugs. We did locate a quantity of marijuana at the scene, which would indicate that obviously there was some narcotic sales or sales with marijuana going on at the time. And whether that is significant or related to this, it's unknown, Taylor said. The Lakeland police chief said he was shocked that this happened in the community. This is something that doesn't happen in Lakeland. I've been here 34 years, and I can tell you I have never worked an event where this many people have been shot at one time ever, Taylor said. When stuff like this happens, you know it just kind of hits home with me a little bit that maybe we're not a small town anymore. It's pretty sad. Police said kids were getting off the bus just before the gunfire, putting them in jeopardy. It's just like, get in the house, duck, we don't know what's going on. And you just heard, I've been hit, I've been hit. People, were, running, two residents, Antosha Collins and a mother named Tina said. It's a blessing not one kid got shot. That is an absolute blessing, Tina said. West who was told the victims are all men between the ages of 20 and 35. All but two of the victims are expected to be out of the hospital by Tuesday and there is some concern in the community about people seeking retaliation. A group of black community leaders gathered at the police station to call for calm. We can't have people shooting people at random in broad daylight, innocent people, for something as menial as drug sales or drug disputes, Lakeland City Commissioner Samuel Simmons said. If there's outrage when rogue police officers do terrible things, we need to have outrage when people in our community do terrible things, Terry Coney, president of the Lakeland branch of the NAACP, said. You can contact Heartland Crime Stoppers Florida and remain anonymous by calling 1-800-226-8477. Lakeland police said a $5,000 reward is being offered to anyone who gives information resulting in the arrests of the suspects.